let's do an X factor, a SWOT analysis of the different chief ministerial candidates and then we can speak to our guests about who has a better chance and why. I'll start with Eknath Shinde. Remember, his big strength of course is that he's the incumbent chief minister and therefore is at some time in power to establish himself uh, in a pan-state capacity as the incumbent chief minister. He's been extremely hard working in the work still late into the night. Uh, unlike the previous chief minister who was accused of being aloof and not easily available, he's been very hard working. The Larki Behen welfare scheme is seen as being a game changer. He is a prominent Maratha face. Unlike Devinder Fadnavis, who was a Brahmin face, he's a Maratha face and therefore in a state where Marathas are important, that goes to his credit. These are his strengths. From there, let's now go to weaknesses. He's dependent on the BJP's crutches for survival. There's not much of a party if you take the BJP out of the equation. Uh, there are allegations of opportunism which hurt uh, the Shinde Sena during the Lok Sabha elections when the MVA did well. It will be important to see what happens in these assembly elections. And then there are corruption charges against many of the people who came with him with charges of lots of kokas, uh, which is what led them to actually switching sides from the Uddhav Bala Sahib Thakur Sena. The opportunity is, if he does well, then in some ways he becomes Maharashtra's Nitish Kumar, where you can't form a government without him that he does so well that even if the BJP has the numbers, there can't be a situation where he's not in an important role and arguably in the role of Chief Minister. It also solidifies the gains of the Shinde Sena at the expense of uh, uh, the Mahavikasa Gadi and he becomes the predominant Maratha face in a post Sharad Pawar generation. The big threat for him though is that if the BJP does incredibly well, they could push their own man as Chief Minister. If the BJP is so par, they may say, hey, we don't really need you because you've got uh, Shinde Sena and the, and the Ajit Pawar faction of the NCP, we can play off against each other. Uh, the fear also for him could be that public sympathy rests with Uddhav Thakre and uh, if he doesn't do too well and doesn't have a very high strike rate, some of the MLAs who do win may decide to strike back. Remember, Ajdi, when we met Uddhav Thakre in Mumbai, uh, he was saying that several of, uh, in his estimate, several of the Shinde Sena MLAs were desperate to come back. He said, I don't want them because he had hai. But in his uh, telling of the story, they wanted to come back and join him. If they win, if they win, and again, as I keep saying, if there are two, there will be two big heroes in Maharashtra for this, for the Mahayuti, Ekna Shinde and Devendra Fadnavis. Fadnavis, who uh, after threatening to resign or offering to resign, really made the effort to get the BJP back on course. And Eknath Shinde, who's literally come in uh, as a relatively unknown quantity two and a half years ago, but has rephrased CM to common man. You see, if I open the doors of Varsha, I met him, I interviewed him at 3.45 a.m. in the morning. 3.45 a.m. At 3.45 a.m. in the morning, trust me, there were 250 people there. 250 out of which 200 were Muslims who had come from Thane because they had some work with him. And the door was open. Now, you know, in, in Mahara, there are critics who say Maharashtra CM must run the office like a CEO. That you must be available on the time you give. He gives you a time of midnight, he'll meet you at 3. Or he may not meet you at all. Or, well, no, he'll meet me, but he may not meet some people at all. But he's available. He's available. He's a common man. He has redefined CM. You see, auto rickshaw drive. It's a great life story. Like Prime Minister Modi played his life story, uh, you know, coming back from Vadnagar to becoming the Prime Minister of the country. Ekna Chinde is saying, I was an auto rickshaw driver. Auto rickshaw driver, every auto rickshaw driver I met in Thane had a sense of pride when you asked him about Ekna Chinde. And he has been nicely packaged by his people around him to give the sense that here is someone who is uh, working for the welfare while the Thakres were working for family. They tried to contrast that. Now, I'm not saying that has worked because that the numbers will say, but if it has, then it's a huge credit to him. He took away the MLAs. People said, yeah, paise par le liya. Now, if you've taken the people, then even the stain of, you know, having of Khoke is gone. I didn't hear this time, Pannas, Khoke, Ekdam, Okay, resonating like it did six months ago. Now, people are talking. Okay. You know, so I think Shinde is a big player. Whether he can become, I see, Rahul, if the BJP gets more than 90 or 100, they'll demand the chief ministership. They are not going to give up the chief ministership of Maharashtra this time so easily. That, but on the other hand, Ekna Chinde has made himself indispensable if he gets such a big victory. The other man who could be chief minister is Devendra Fadnavis. So let's just spend a moment 
talking about Devinder Fadnavis because the Mahayuti is in the lead and we've already heard murmurs from within the BJP that the Kada, the leader, want their own man as chief minister. not very happy that somebody who comes from a much smaller party actually gets to be chief minister. So he's got administrative experience even though he's relatively young as a politician. He's seen as a seasoned leader, is the BJP's main face in Maharashtra and the BJP currently the most important party because the other opponents have been weakened by defections. His weakness is that he comes from the numerically insignificant Brahmin caste. His all this Jor Thod and Maharashtra has hurt his pro-development image. And frankly, as Deputy Chief Minister, a post he didn't initially want, his stature has diminished under uh, Chief Minister Eknath Shinde's rule. The opportunity is that the BJP maximizes its strike rate, that it crosses the 100 figure. And if it does, he'll have reason to smile. He has Pan Maharashtra name recall and there is a strong desire, Rajdeep, from within the BJP, which you just alluded to, which would like to see Devinder Fadnavis as the next chief minister. Remember, Maharashtra has only had one BJP chief minister in all these years. And it was one of those, for the longest time, it was one of their last frontiers that they wanted to breach. Bihar is the other one that they still haven't breached. Bengal? Devendra Fadnavis. Bengal, they haven't even won an election, but at least Bihar they won, but they had to ride on the coattails of Nitish Kumar. Devendra Fadnavis, first chief minister since Vasant Rao Naik in the 1970s to complete a five-year term. And then was riding high, but me, Puna Enar, you know, was confident of winning, was betrayed, he believes, by the Shiv Sena, lost out. Then had that one week. Uh, old government, which he's never really recovered from. Now is his chance. If they get, but for that, the interesting part is the numbers. You see, if the numbers are 150 or 140, right, which is also possible, uh, our uh, Yashwan C voter poll would suggest that the B NDA at best would be in the range of 140 to 150. So, so let's do that because I have the magic uh, pen with us as well. And I'll show you the big picture numbers from, there are other CM candidates as well. And uh, we could go on for a long time, but I'm sure you also want to see what the big picture numbers for Maharashtra are. So coming up on your screen now, I'll start with vote share alliance-wise to give you a sense of how Maharashtra, according to Yashwant, is likely to vote. Remember in the Lok Sabha elections, it was 43.3 versus 43.9, so about a half percent difference. Uh, Seawota predicts that NDA will be at 41%, the India Alliance at 40 and others at 19%. So 1% lead. Uh, big leads and big variations in the regions, but at the state level, a 1% advantage for the NDA over the India Alliance. How does this vote share translate into seats? Let's show that to our viewers now. 112 clear leads for the NDA, putting it in... Uh, position to be having a better chance of falling, uh, forming the next government. 104 for the India Alliance with 61 seats too close to call. 61 seats out of 288 too close to call. 104 for the India Alliance, 112 for the NDA. That's Sea Voters data. Rajdi. Now Yashwan has to tell us which, where, which region are these 61 seats from. Because that will give you a fair idea again. But this indicates... Ek, this is the ideal situation for Eknath Shinde. If these are the numbers, Eknath Shinde has, is in poor position to become the next Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Because it, he's become indispensable. If on the other hand, the BJP doesn't need uh, to rely on uh, a large faction, a large section of the Shiv Sena or NCP Ajit Pawar, then uh, it is fundamental. Anything about 90 seats for the BJP, I think it's fundamental. Anything below 90 seats, I would say Eknath Shinde Let's has a spend factor. some time putting Amitabh in the dock now. So 61 seats, too close to call. Uh, give us your sense of how this could play out on uh, counting day. So see, if you see the 61 seats, uh, almost half are in Vidarbha and Marat Park. Correct. Almost 28-ish. So those 20 ishes will go, I think, 60-40 to, towards MVA. Because they had the lead there. On an overall basis, still Yashwanji is saying that in Vidarbh and Marathwada, MVA has the lead. So of those, let's say 30, you give 18 to 18 and 12, let's say, or 18 and 10. Of the rest, 32, it's likely to split 50-50 in the ratio, which is the overall tally which you have predicted. Which means that roughly 23-24 uh, will go to... 24-25 uh, could go to uh, Mahayuti 
and the balance 35 ish could go to hung house there mba <laughs> so you're saying 35 for the mba yeah because i am saying 60 40 because large part of those seats 35 are in and you're saying how many on this MBA. side about 25 25, 25 what which are left so you think it could be a mahavikas agadi advantage if this base data is right yes because half of the seats are in marathwada and vidar where yashwan ji is still showing a lead for uh, 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 so yes one yes one it's a it's a tight call but but if you add the but if you add the oh, both the things it's like 137 and 139 correct so it's like a toss of a coin it's like 50 50 then you have the 19 then the i want 20, to get elected as an independent in maharashtra <laughs> then you have the independent then i want to get elected as an independent in maharashtra maybe the panas khoke ka because it is not anybody <laughs> edge it, it is like then almost same seat tally for both that is what is re, uh, reflected even in the vote share 41 40 you have three regions where mba is leading you have three regions where that uh, means India basically not just will be miss the sahitya aaj tak on the 23rd we'll also miss it on the 24th <laughs> so pura kaam kharab fir possibly till a <laughs> i i you look i i know this is the c voter poll but if if as early indications if indications are now showing a large woman voter turnout i am more inclined to go to the to the belief that it will be a big win If, if if the voter turnout is what what is being then claimed ask, what yes, science sure, seems to suggest not... also that there is a large woman voter turnout then anecdotally you would think the women give the huge advantage to the mayuti if on the other hand as uh, preeti pointed out large voter turnout in marathwada vidarbha then i don't know because so this was the these map. were the so two i'm only looking at the he- i'm only looking at the heat map if you look at it look at it rajdeep it shows large voter turnout in marathwada it shows large voter turnout in western maharashtra it shows large voter turnout where uh, the adivasi is the tribal belt no. is concerned but 65 now, is the average voter turnout out of which 60 is in urban and 70 is in rural no, but if you just so look, rural has has voted 10%, 10% more than urban which no, is not women, unusual but it is much higher than normal